was lovely. another gentleman in the audience, yes, in the, in the leather waistcoat, who raised his hand when I asked about anyone having experiences of aliens. Yeah. First and foremost, I've been researching UFOs for many, many years now. I started off very sceptical, but the more research I undertook in this country, I began to realise that there's something physically real, there's something very real, very tangible occurring here. Now, it's fair to say to the people in this audience and your viewers at home that 95% of all UFO reports have natural, identifiable solutions. That only leaves us a small 5%, which we don't, as yet, we can't explain. But you think we will be able to explain it? Possibly. Some of it may be of our own technology, the stealth program, the Aurora aircraft, etc. But my own experience was in Western Ross in northern Scotland when I saw on a sky watch uh, this beautiful starry night, a lovely Scottish scenery. And this gentleman had a torch and he was flashing up into the night sky and he said, I get strange bursts of light coming down. Would you like to come up and see this? So I travelled up and uh, got his torch, started flashing in the night, night sky, hand on heart, this column column of white light started tumbling down from the sky just like a rope ladder of light and it stopped and then suddenly it just went back up into the sky and screamed off at an alarming rate and it wasn't the reflection of a car's lights it on the clouds Martin, or anything no, like I mean, that i'm standing yeah, yeah. there i've so got i've got a video camera i've got i've got, I've got, I've got yeah. cameras and video cameras and the sheer shock of seeing this i couldn't respond quickly enough okay. Heather, Heather, how do you explain that okay. how do you explain that? maybe make two points the people who are out every night looking at the sky are amateur astronomers. They're out day in, day out, and they never, ever report UFOs. Oh, no, no, oh, no, they don't. They never, I was, ever. I, but, but, I, but, I, but, I, but Heather, I, 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 I was, I was, I was, I was, I was the president of the British Astronomical Association, yes. Richard, and they never yes. reported And they report it to a UFO. But Heather, there are examples of, there are examples of policemen, yeah, of, of, of a British Airways pilot well, and people in the crew who saw true. UFOs. Are you saying these are not responsible people? Yeah, in I, I'm saying they don't understand what's up in the night sky. They're not, not the guys. They're, they're not the, pilot, the guys. Not Heather, the pilot, when the pilot, pilot, yes, Yuri, Yuri, so Yuri, 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 tell us about the pilot. The, the, the pilot reports a UFO speeding, so you know, flying in such such um, velocities that no oh. aircraft on our planet can oh, no. fly those speeds. It, there must be something to it. Now, no, I have... Oh, wait, wait, Yuri, you're Heather, 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 my, Heather, just a minute. Just I, minute. I actually uh, damaged my credibility when no. I revealed <laughs> that I, I had an encounter. I've not, not seen an alien. I've not seen a, a real UFO in front of me. But I've seen incredible um, shapes that led me to believe that they are non-earthly shapes. They are extraterrestrial. Yes, Yuri. I'm a great believer that... Aliens do exist, UFO do exist. Probably 98% of the reports are nonsense. Mm. But if only 1% is well, 1 real, is that's enough. Well, 1% is hundreds of thousands of sightings, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. The gentleman said 5%. Uh, I mean, that is, can I, can we, we have millions to, of sightings. Can I go back to... Who, can, can, can I just ask, who, who here has got a really healthy, healthy can, can I ask, who here has got a really, really healthy scepticism about all this? That, that well, maybe this know. notion well, of aliens, it could be just, just a figment of our own inner desires. 